Hey guys, what's up? This is Bray from VRK Apps. Right now, I'm going to uh, give you guys an explanation of the different video qualities that a TV can output in. Uh, this is a little confusing. It's, it used to be confusing to me, and I just want to make a little uh, helpful tutorial or uh, just explanation really on how these different uh, video qualities work. So the three video qualities that you'll want to stick to if you have a um, newer TV, and these are the only ones we're going to talk about today, are 720p, 1080i, and 1080p. Now the letters at the end of these numbers stands for interlaced or progressive. Interlaced, uh, and I, I wish you guys could visual, visualize this, but um, right now I'm putting my fingers together like in between, just kind of like sliding them in. That's what interlace does, and it does that very quick, so you can't really notice. But um, the thing you do notice is the quality of the image. So uh, because of this, and gaming specifically, it's going to make it a little bit slower of a turn. It's going to lag just that tiny bit. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it is a tiny bit noticeable. And what I discovered is that 720p is actually better than 1080i for gaming. And you might be thinking to yourself right now, I forgot to mention this, why would I want to use um, 720p or 1080i if I can just use 1080p? Well, I forgot to mention that this video actually just kind of speaks mainly to people that are recording gameplay, uh, such as I am, and not so much as other people, because you 1080p is the best video quality possible, and you always want to stick to 1080p whenever possible. That being said, um, if you are recording, there is a pros and cons of 720p and 1080i. To understand these, you're going to want to understand how uh, these video qualities work. So, like I said, the P and I means interlacive or progressive. Progressive, uh, rather than coming together through these little uh, bands like that, like microscopic bands that you can't actually see, um, progressive just is progress. I'm not, I don't know the exact details, but pro progressively, actually continuously puts that video source in there and it's actually a much cleaner looking video and along with that uh, 10 EI is gonna have uh, a little bit like dimmer display and just some other video quality things that are going but see if you listen to just that it's gonna make 10 I look like it's absolutely terrible which is not necessarily the case um, if you have a really small TV you're gonna want to have 720p and that is because 1080 and 720 if you don't know this Stand, is a uh, representative of the amount of pixels. So at the end of that uh, pixel ratio is 720 or 1080. And so 720 has less pixels and it's going to be a little bit more of a blurred image than 1080 is going to have. So 1080, so the difference between 1080i and 1080p is just a slightly cleaned up image. But it's still the same image. It's just slightly cleaned up, looks a little better. So if you have, if you're playing on kind of a bigger screen TV, I'd say like 40 inches or above, definitely play on 1080i. You're going to notice that 720p, you're going to notice how there's less pixels more and more. Uh, right here was a host migration. You're going to notice how those pixels um, are smaller more or are bigger more and more and it's going to uh, result in a less satisfactory viewing experience. So um, that's pretty much it. You got to put it up to personal preference for, for that right there. So um, so if you guys are just starting out recording or something, this that's what I did. I remember when I first started out recording, I wanted to know should I record in 720p or 1080i. I recorded in 1080i for probably about a year and a half now, and I just realized that that's definitely not the way to go. While 720p might look a little tiny bit worse than 1080i because of the pixels, um, it's a little bit darker and a little bit richer, but aside from that, you're going to have quicker turns you're going to be able to have less lag and it's just going to make you that much better of a player. So 720p is definitely the best for gaming if you're recording. That being said, remember that 1080p is going to be better for those of you that are not recording or I pro pro there's probably some of you uh, coming on here uh, and the gaming part is at the end of the title so there's probably some people coming on here just uh, looking for advice for their home theater setup and that's fine too. For that, 1080p. If you're not gaming, and you're not recording or anything like that, 1080p. You might be wondering, well, why would, why does, uh, why do these recording devices make you play in 1080i or 720p? And I don't know. It's just something that's a downfall of recording your gameplay. You gotta have those 
have that uh, uh, that that uh, necessary um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, where you go, well, you gotta you gotta have something to give up. You gotta have something to get up, give up to get something from something. So anyway, I hope that has been helpful. Uh, there's more uh, in explanations online if this was not helpful enough. Anyway, if there's any questions, be sure to leave them down below. Thank you for watching.